We've truly made some bad decisions as a species because we've always assumed that the ocean was too big to damage and that was obviously a mistaken assumption. My name is Richard Charter. I am a senior fellow with the Ocean Foundation in Washington, D.C. My background is ocean conservation and I've worked in that field for the last 35 years. Many, many people feel a close bond to the ocean. That needs to be connected in people's mind with keeping the ocean healthy. But it's more important right now to restore the ocean than it is to continue to take at unsustainable levels. And that, I think, is a society-based decision. Sustainable management of a fish stock will take cooperation between the fishermen, who are well-intentioned and don't want to see their resource decline, the consumer who doesn't want to buy and eat fish that's causing a decline in the ocean, and the science community that's responsible for figuring out how much you can take without causing a decline in the basic underlying stock. So everybody has to take responsibility in the whole cycle, from the people who catch the fish, the people who decide how much they can catch, and the purchaser at the retail level. We live in a time when the ability of digital media to focus in on a very narrow band of interests and deliver content to individuals, that ability brings something new to the table in fisheries management that we've never had. Understanding that story, I think, is going to be an absolute key to changing human behavior. I continue to be optimistic about our ability to help the ocean recover. Are we going to be able to have the ocean be restored? Absolutely. Mother Nature bats last. We need to work on behalf of the ocean because our survival depends on it and we can make a difference.